Hi, my name is Emma. What was that? I don't know. What is what? What is what? Get your stuff together. I'm going to talk about the disillusionment of reading. That sounds dark. It is, but it isn't. This um, whole idea, thought process, I don't know, was prompted by a book called A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, which I'm still reading. I just did a video about this, and that's why I'm in the same fun, lumpy sweater that is very Meg Ryan Circa Sleepless in Seattle. The point is, though, I've been reading this, and I had the thought, I was like, I don't really like it, but when I was, like, 16, I would have loved this book. And I know this is a thought many people have. Wow, my arm just, like, went down because it's a laundry basket, and anyway. I'm okay, I'm alive. My mom's watching a, a, a movie about cowboys versus dinosaurs, and it's ridiculous, and... Yeah, so anyway, people probably have this thought a lot. Like, you think about a book that you read when you were 16, you're like, oh, I would hate, I hate, would hate that now. Or a book you're reading now, and you're like, I would have loved that when I was 16. I just think it's an interesting thing to talk, think about, talk about. I didn't really get into reading until I was about 15. Like, really reading. And I was reading all of the, the faves. I was reading the John Greens and the other people and the other writers. And I was like, whoa, John Green is a master of everything. He's a master commander and a master pretender. In both the sense of that and also master pretender in the sense of the song by First Aid Kit. The point is though, I was reading his books, I was loving him, I was like a nerd fighter, I was like, yes, everything about this, Paper Towns, Fallen Earth Stars, Never Read Looking for Alaska, but it's for Catherine's, give them all to me. And then I was thinking like a few, couple years ago, a year ago, a couple years ago actually, I just didn't really like John Green anymore. I tried reading one of rereading one of his books, and I was like, I really don't like this. I don't like this at all, at all. And it was like I felt like I was betraying my old self because I was like, oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. Then I was thinking about other books because I tried to read YA now, and nothing against YA. There are plenty of books by YA writers that are YA that I really love, and some of my favorite books are YA because there was the books that I read when I was younger, and they like really helped me and influenced me. But when I read a lot of YA now, a lot of the YA I read now, when I do read it, I just don't like it. I can't get into it. I find it just a little, just, it doesn't do it for me. And I think it's interesting to think about that. Some people don't have that problem. Some people are like, yes, this is great. I'm still very into this and that's great and I respect you. But for some reason, it just stopped working for me. It's like the formula of my brain went, no, no, I don't want to read this anymore. But I still do because sometimes they're fun and the concepts are really interesting and sometimes the books are really great. I just think it's interesting to think about, like the disillusionment of your youth. It's a very dark topic, but it's one that's important to have. Or is it? Pfft. Jury's out on that one. The rural jury is out on that one. But the point is though, have you ever had that? Have you ever read a book and you were like, man, this book was so great when I was younger, but it's not good anymore to me. It is not good. I don't like it. Is this a garbage garbage video maybe but we're keeping it because this is just going to be a fun week of me putting up weird videos of me rambling anyway let me know in the comments tell me how you feel does that happen to you